The Basi ceremony, also known as Su Kwan, which means calling of the soul, is a traditional ritual that Lao people have been practicing for thousands of years. The Su Kwan ceremony is especially common during Bime Lao in April when everyone participates in the ceremonies held in their homes or offices to wish for good luck and success in the years to come. Basi ceremony, the term commonly used as Su Kwan, which means spirit enhancing or spirit calling. The ceremony involves the tying of white cotton strings around person's wrists and the prayer saying or well wishing for the person that the ceremony is intended for. Lao people believe that a human being is a union of 32 organs. Each has a spirit or Kwan, or Lao word for spirit, to protect them. These spirits often wander outside the body, causing unbalance of the soul, which might lead to an illness. The tying of the white strings represents tying of the 32 spirits to the body, putting them back in harmony, as well as bringing good luck and prosperity. The Basi ceremony is held on many different occasions or events throughout of the year. It can be held any day of the week, though it has to be on a good day in the lunar calendar. The ceremony can be held for both sad times and happy times. Some people might find it a little strange that there is a ceremony for sad occasions. The ceremony is held for happy occasions like weddings, welcoming guests, Lao New Year, housewarming, homecomings, and other such occasions. The pakwan is placed on a white cloth at the center of the room and everyone gathers around it. The host or the persons that the Basi is intended for sit closest to the Pakwan, facing the Mopon, wisher or master of ceremony, usually a respected and knowledgeable person in the community. And other participants sit behind. After that, the Mopon starts by lighting the candle on the top of the Makbing, handmade marigold pyramid made of banana leaves and flowers, and asks the host or the persons to receive the blessing to lay their hands or palms down on the edge of the pakwan. He brushes their hands with the white string saying, Hai guat ni, di guat kao, meaning bad is swept out, good is swept in. After this, he takes the white thread connecting the pakwan, placing one end in his hand and the other in the hand of the person who is to receive the blessing. They place the strings between their palms and pray while the Mopon is chanting in the religious Pali language, sometimes quoting from Lao poetry and proverbs. During this time, everyone is supposed to be quiet. At some point during the chanting, the ceremony attendants say together, Mada Kwan Oi! Please come spirits. At the same time, someone throws rice in the air so the rice grains fall down on everyone's head. These rice grains represent the spirit and good luck that have been asked for. After the Mopon has finished his chanting, he ties the first white blessing strings around the wrist of the main person being honored. Then everyone else joins in to tie strings around the wrist of the main celebrants and other family members, as well as among the guests themselves, while murmuring good wishes for receivers of the strings. Some roll up a banknote and tie it inside a white string, then tie around the wrist of the host while others just place a glass of Lao whiskey, fruit, an egg, or any edible things available on the pakwan on the hand of the person and tie a string on the wrist. The Basi ceremony finishes when everyone has tied the white strings around everyone else's wrist or when the white strings has run out. The ceremony varies in length from 30 minutes to one hour. Sometimes at the end of the ceremony, the Mopon and the elderly people do their little predictions by looking at chicken wings, claws, and jaw. An example of the prediction that often hear is that if all the claws are neatly pointing to the same direction, the spirits of the receivers of the blessing are all well and stay with them.
usually after the string tying procession has finished. Everyone is invited to eat, drink, and sometimes dance. Loud circle dance with the live band playing. It is believed that if the receivers of the blessings want their wishes to come true, they would keep the white strings tied around their wrists for at least three days after the ceremony. When it comes time to remove them, they should untie instead of cutting the strings as the good wishes might be severed. After the ceremony, the pakwan is kept until dried out or at least for three days before it is thrown away. The reason is the same as keeping the white strings tied around the wrists. The Barsi ceremony varies throughout the country in terms of orders of sessions and its meetings.